Three sisters in the deep mulch garden. Is it worth it? Well, let's take a look. When we're talking about planting three sisters, we're talking about corn, bean, and squash. If you've been following my story, you know that I did plant three sisters. Now, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna hear that I'm putting them all too close, but these aren't very big. <laughs> They're gonna get really big. I'm gonna try not to put them too close, but if you've watched any of my garden, you know I plant heavy and I plant close. We'll see what we get. And of course the idea is, as your corn grows tall, your beans can use the corn as a trellis, and then the squash shades out the ground and keeps the weeds down. That's good in theory, but let's take a look at the reality. Well, the Indian corn has come up. The sweet corn hasn't come up yet. We're gonna put butternut in the middle. It'll vine out across the ground. They're gonna put a ring of zucchini. Then we're gonna put a line of yellow squash, some crook neck, some straight neck. Now, I was told a long time ago, the best time to plant is during the rain if you can handle it. The squash were going already. But then the corn really took off, and then the beans really took off, and they did use the corn as a trellis, and it pulled the corn down before they made ears. Couldn't find any squash if they made it. We did get some beans. I said, we'll never be able to find them in that mess. You know, I put a little bit of fence up to keep them from strangling out the corn. Well, this is what we got. Let's see what we can find. It was pretty tough going to get to them. And we're still gonna do kind of a three sisters. We're gonna have squash, we're gonna have beans, and we're gonna have corn. But I'm not gonna plant pole beans with the corn. And I'm gonna plant squash out a little ways from the corn and the beans. So I'm not against three sisters. I just don't think you ought to use your corn as a trellis for your pole beans. So what are we gonna do today? I told you we we're gonna plant over here. We're gonna put some corn in, and we're gonna put some beans in. And maybe another thing or two. This is the row we used to get that soil for the lettuce containers. And I just went ahead and filled that back in. Just like everything else, let's go ahead and pull the mulch back. We're gonna make a decent row here. We're gonna go ahead and plant a decent amount of corn. Remember, corn is pollinated by the wind. The tassels drop the pollen down on the silks, makes the ears. So the heavier you can plant your corn, the better. You don't want them too close together, but you don't want just three or four plants either. And since I use the pitchfork, it's about a foot apart, I'm gonna make two rows, kind of off to the sides. I'm just gonna drop a couple seeds as we go. And then I'm gonna take my finger, and in this deep mulch, in this nice soft soil, I'm gonna push it down just a little bit you know, root stout, just drop it on the surface, but I think corn needs to be in just a little bit. And then we'll kind of cover it over. We'll just keep moving down until we get it all planted. And to kind of stay within the theme of the three sisters, I'm gonna plant some beans, but I'm gonna space these out and I'm gonna put them right in the middle of the row. Got the corn down both sides. And I'm gonna make a pretty good space between these. I'm just gonna poke them down in the soil a little bit. Like with all of it, I'm gonna put a light little layer of mulch over the top. The corn will come up through it with no problem, so will the beans. Well, I've got two of the three sisters in. It is just still a little early to get the squash in, and once it warms up, we'll plant that from seed, and you'll be surprised at just how fast that comes up. Now, the pole beans, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this trellis back here. We've done really well on the trellises. We got a lot to go in the garden. We just started. We're gonna plant something just about every day. Come on, Riley, let's show them how much we still have to plant. Let's see how big the garden is. I know, the onions and potatoes are coming up really well. You can comment down below and let me know what you think I'm gonna plant next. I hope you're planting along with me. This is what makes it fun. Riley's out here protecting the new baby plants. If you'd like to see more Riley in the garden, leave a comment down below. Riley wants you to remember, you can do this too. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.